Hi, this is Jessica with Dining Traveler and welcome to my hometown of Rochester, New York. Did you guys know that Rochester has a pretty hopping beverage scene? From distilleries, wineries, and breweries, there's plenty of places to have a glass. So follow me. Right now we're at Casa Larga Vineyards in Fairport, New York, which is right outside the city of Rochester and they have 40 acres of vineyards and they produce everything from Riesling to red wines and of course when you're in the Finger Lakes region you have to have a nice Riesling. Cheers! Hi I'm Colleen from Living Roots and we're here in our urban winery on University Ave. If you're not familiar with our wines, um, we make our Finger Lakes wines right here in the city of Rochester. So we work really closely with growers in the Finger Lakes, including my family on Cuca Lake, and then make the wine start to finish here, um, you know, in the neighborhood of the arts. We also make wine in South Australia, my husband's uh, hometown of Adelaide, and we love bringing together these two, you know, really different sort of climates and styles of winemaking and showcasing both of them here in our tasting room. Um, so if you haven't been in to visit us before, I hope you do. We've got tasting flights, wines by the glass, some cheese boards, um, and lots of sort of local products that we, that we feature. So hope to see you soon on University. Today we're going to be drinking our best seller. We've got our bourbon cream. So it's a mixture of our bourbon whiskey along with ultra pasteurized cream that just keeps it from, um, you know, spoiling. Uh, and a little caramel coloring is, uh, caramel sugar is all that is in there. But great, uh, a great treat and, uh, and definitely my most requested item when people come into the tasting room. Awesome. So. Cheers. Cheers. And there's also a New York State cream too. Yep. So this is all New York people. Upstate New York's got a great agricultural community and the opportunity to show off locally grown grains, locally sourced dairy, uh, you know, locally made uh, apple cider and some of our other products. Uh, that's just what the company, that's what I put the company together to do and it's what we do every day. Awesome, so cheers. Make sure you guys check out Black Button Distillery and it's located where? We're at 85 Railroad Street, right outside the, uh, the gates for the Rochester Public Market. Which is not too far from downtown, so come and have a drink. No trip to Rochester is complete without a trip to the Jenny Brew House. Genesee Beer is the largest brewery in the area and it's been around for decades and they have a three floor area where you can taste some beers and if you come up here to the terrace you can have an amazing view of the city. So now I'm at Rock Brewing and I am with the owner and founder Chris Finelli and you guys have been here for how long? We just uh, celebrated 10 years. Thank you so much for uh, coming in. Glad to show you around. Wild. And you have like some uh, really interesting names for beer. And I have to admit that I want to try this one because I love the name. Hith hey, right. Ryzen. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try that. Alrighty. Sounds good. And you said that this one has green tea. This one has green tea and rye in it. So you're going to get those traditional kind of Hefeweizen notes with a little bit of spicy clove, banana to it, and then like this nice hint of rye that's gonna be a little spicy, and then just a subtle hint of green tea. Okay, awesome, and what are you having? I see you have a glass. I got my <laughs> favorite glass. Uh, the Lager of the Lager is actually one of my favorite beers. Uh, it's one of our top selling beers. I'm a real lager guy. Really clean, crisp uh, Vienna style lager with a little bit of caramel, subtle hint of the hops that are a little more of a noble hop, so they're a little spicy, but cleans off really nice and one of my favorites. Let's do it. Prost. Prost. <laughs> Oh, that is very refreshing. Perfect for the summer. Yeah, it's perfect for the summer. It's actually Nick, our um, head brewer, it's one of his homebrew recipes that he wanted to bring back. And uh, it's been a big hit over the last couple of years. Cool. So cheers to Rochester. Cheers. <laughs> My name is John Orlob and I'm the founder and owner of the Rohrbach Brewing Company here in Rochester, New York. 
Uh, we started uh, Roar Box 30 years ago to try to bring craft beer, high quality craft beer, and, and really food also to the Rochester area. And it's been a great run. The location that we're at right now is by the Rochester Public Market. And uh, we're really glad to be in the neighborhood. Uh, what Roar Box does is we're a small family run business bringing high quality products to the Rochester area. And that's really what the farmers are doing up at the market. So it's a perfect fit for us. We get lots of foot traffic and uh, we have a nice beer hall and tasting room. And then on the west side of town, we have a little bit of uh, beer manufacturing out there also, but mainly that's a restaurant. It's a full service restaurant. Uh, we open seven days a week for lunch and dinner. Just a 30 minute drive from Rochester, we're in beautiful Canandaigua Lake and we are at Young Lion Brewery with the co-owner Jennifer Newman and you are one of the few women owned breweries in New York State and even in the United States, that's really cool. That's true, yeah, no, there, um, uh, there, there are lots of couples out there but um, it's, and it's growing very quickly but right now there is very few truly woman owned and managed breweries in the country. Awesome, and it's from my hometown, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, and I know that it's difficult to pick. Um, I know that creating your own beer is like right. kids, but I know that you have some favorites. Like if somebody comes here, what should they order? Right, so well definitely, the first thing that I would try from Young Lion would be the core that we have. So we have an, an IPA, which is about 6.5 um, ABV alcohol content. Um, and that's definitely you know our, our, our heavy lifter. So about 40% of our sales go to that. Um, it took us a long time to develop that recipe so I would definitely try that one the other one would be our Czech Pilsner uh, Czech Pilsner is gonna be a little maltier than an American Pilsner um, but a little sweeter but also um, a great um, a great example of how strong our, our brewing team is technically and then the third one would be our double IPA and that's an 8.0 so a little bit dangerous because it's a little smooth but, um, <laughs> but yeah I definitely start with a core and then we come out with a new beer every four to six weeks so there's always something changing and exciting happening now we're gonna let you guys go because we're gonna try some beer. Cheers. Cheers.